Hi folks, welcome to the Sabres Reloaded. This is a video on this channel that talks about topics. And the topic I have today, we have to be patient. Unfortunately, you know, I was just talking about this in uh, the last video. Or I'm not sure which way I'm uploading this, but I did talk about it tonight in a video. And we do have to be patient. This sucks. <laughs> this sucks for us. But I think, uh, you know, do we have it in us as fans? Do we have it in us, I don't know, to wait two more years to make the playoffs? It's like it's so damn long already, right? But what is the reward? You know, what's the reward in the long run? What are we going to get? What are we going to get back? Well, guys, I'm hoping for a championship this time. I've waited a damn long time to see one. Many of us have. And I'd like to see the Sabres, before I leave this world, win a Stanley Cup. I would. I mean, I absolutely want to see a Stanley Cup victory one day because I don't see any reason, if you build it right, that we won't win a cup. Why? Everybody gets to spend the same amount of money, right? Everybody. So we can, we can talk about, well, the big market teams get the free agents. I don't want to depend on free agents, guys, to win a Stanley Cup. I want to, I want to depend on our, on our scouting staff our coaching, and our development staff. I, I, I don't want to worry about having to get some big ticket name to win a Stanley Cup or forget it. Forget it. I, I know one thing. If the Sabres are winning and playing well, word gets around the league, my God, this is a fun dressing room to be a part of. That gets around to players. Don't think it doesn't. It does. Word travels. And when that travels around, you know, before it was toxic, I'm sure, and they heard it was toxic. The, the thing is, it's not that players don't want to come to Buffalo. They don't want to come to a toxic environment where you got a guy like, let's say, you know, Murray as your GM and uh, he's trying to make the team lose and things like that. I mean, you know, when that happens, it's like that turns free agents right off, right off. But if you get a team going, winning, prospering, and who didn't want to play in the Sabres in 2006 and 2007 back then? Same city, different team, different era, right? But who didn't want to play in the Buffalo Sabres back then? You tell me. Probably everybody wanted to. That was a fun team, fun team to watch. A team that should have won a Stanley Cup, as we know. It wasn't for injuries, we would have. And it's sad that we didn't. That's what will make this one much more sweeter if we get it this time around. Because, guys, we're going to have to at one point break through. It's not going to be, the Buffalo Sabres are not going to be a forever team that doesn't win a Stanley Cup. I, I just can't see that, you know, as our permanent history, that doesn't make any sense to me. You know, the, there's team, look, the St. Louis Blues broke through. The Washington Capitals broke through. No reason we can't. No reason teams like Vancouver Canucks, there's teams that could break through. The Canucks had their chance to break through three times and lost it. The last two games against Boston and that game seven against the Rangers. They had three chances, one on their home ice, to win a Stanley Cup and they let it slip out of their fingers. So we don't want to go there either. So when we get there and we get our chance, the patience will have paid off. If we're up three games to one, we're in game five of the Stanley Cup Finals, we're up four to one. There's two minutes left in the game, how are you feeling? Was it worth all the suffering? You're going to say, hell yes it was because these, this was the dream. And if we get to live the dream just once, guys, just once, it was worth it. All of it, the 10 years, the next two years, whatever it takes to get in. Who's to say the first time we make the playoffs, we don't win the Stanley Cup? We live in a crazy era, guys. This, the, NHL's not like it used to be. It's not like you can predict, you can't. You get into the playoffs now, you can win the Stanley Cup. That's why it's so huge. Any team that gets into the playoffs, ask the LA Kings, ask the Carolina Hurricanes, ask a lot of teams, they'll tell you, you, you just got to get in. It doesn't matter what you've done in your past anymore. Like those days are long gone. The new NHL made sure of that. That's one thing. The parity is so strong in this league now that if you make the playoffs, something special can happen. The Vegas Golden Knights almost won a Stanley Cup, guys. And take a look at the Capitals that year. Were they that much of a powerhouse? No, they weren't. But they made the playoffs and they finally broke through. They had much better seasons, the Capitals, in their history 
where they had like 50 win seasons and choked and choked and choked and choked and choked again. And then this one season hits and all of a sudden they break through and they win the Stanley Cup. And yeah, what was that? That'll be like five years ago very soon. They haven't won a playoff series since, but I think their fans are forgiving for that. You know, you got the cup. You got, when you have a Stanley Cup in your history, you have it. You've done it. It's the only thing missing in our entire history, guys, in my opinion, is there, the only thing on the resume missing is Stanley Cup. We've had Hall of Famers. We've had great players. We have memorable goals. We have probably the greatest announcer that ever put a microphone in front of his mouth. There's so many things that went right in this franchise except one, and that's winning a Stanley Cup. And the current era. Let's not forget that, okay? 1973, the first two seasons of the league, 70, 71, 71, 72, we lose back-to-back, -back, right? Back-to-back -back losing seasons. Then we don't have back-to-back -back losing seasons for 43 years. 43 years. This franchise did not have back-to-back -back losing seasons. 43 years. And then... Uh, we did it to ourselves, tanking to get a guy named Connor McDavid who we didn't get. And we can see clearly now he was the prize. We know, you know, Jack Eichel's not close to this guy. And um, I used to argue with, I can't tell you how many Sabres fans before the draft telling me Jack Eichel's going to be better. I'm like, oh my God, are you, are you serious? Am I really listening to this? Or, you know, you just knew here, at least here out here in Montreal, we knew all about Connor McDavid. So some Buffalo fans were just, I guess they were thinking that Jack Eichel was going to be better for some reason. I don't know why. But he turned out to have a great career overall. I mean, Eichel can still have respectable numbers by the end of his career. Look, if we can get to the promised land is the deal, guys. And to get there, we have to be patient. <laughs> we got to be patient. It sucks. It totally sucks. It does. You think I don't want to have a winning season right now like you guys? Of course. I don't want to wait two, three more years to like finally have a big winning season. I want it now. I want to take some money now and spend and get somebody now and get winning now, but that would be dumb. It would be dumb. We got that money put aside in the bank for the kids because when they prosper, and they're going to prosper, we have to pay them to keep them. Not to keep some 34, 35-year-old guy in the team. That would be a mistake. So we're going to have to get everybody locked in, and then we can look at a guy, let's say, like Kane eventually, when he becomes UFA. We can look at it then. But we still have to be careful with the money, and it would still have to be, it would have to be a smart deal. Not a $10 million expenditure, absolutely no. If we do that, I'm writing off the rebuild automatically. I'll be that pissed off. I'll be like, oh my God, Adams has lost his mind now. No, we can't go that route, guys, we can't. So we gotta stay patient, stay the course, and then eventually win the Stanley Cup. That's the plan. See you in the next one, guys.